Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Barely Necessities, LaughingPlace.com's Disney merchandise show. I'm the co-founder of Laughing Place, Rebecca Mosley, and with me is our site manager, Rebecca Burbank. So see you get to Rebecca's. How's it going way over there in the middle of the country, Rebecca? Oh, it's good. It's been cold in the mornings. So nice in the in the afternoons, but cold in the mornings. <laughs> it's been cold all day to me up, uh, here in Northern California. And meanwhile, my friends in Florida are writing me going, oh, it's so hot and muggy. And I'm like, You're I don't, like, don't want to hear it. I don't, don't want to hear it. I, I wouldn't mind hot and muggy, to be honest with you. <laughs> right? Hey, Jeffrey, thanks for joining us. Well, as always, it's holiday shopping time, so that means we've got a lot to talk about. I'm going to invite Becca to start off with some of the deals that uh, Shop Disney's been sharing the past few days. Yes, they have their 12 days of magical deals going on now through the 16th. And today's deal is you can save up to 25% on uh, site-wide. There are some restrictions, of course, none of the 50th Walt Disney World uh, merchandise is part of this sale, but uh, 20% on orders of 75 or more, and then 25% on orders of 100 or more. And be sure to combine that with the free shipping because once you hit that $75 minimum, you can you get free shipping. So we've got the code save more to save the up to 25%, and then ship magic for free shipping. Yeah, and definitely don't forget that ship that ship magic yes. um, once you've hit that $75. You be sure to um, have those codes with you. Don't forget, it's easy to kind of get caught up in putting items in your cart and, and forget to put those magical words um, in, in as your uh, coupon to save you during this uh, yes. 12 days of magical deals over there at Shop Disney. Um, recently, they uh, unveiled a new uh, Dooney bag. This one is a Mickey Mouse sketch. Mm -hmm. I, um, among the various poses for Mickey, um, I noticed that some of them to me like leap out as being from the opening of the Mouseketeer, the, you know, Mickey Mouse Club, um, okay. when they would have like Frontier uh, Adventure, you know, Adventure Day yes. or um, Anything Can Happen Day, uh, these kinds of things. Some of his his poses really reminded me of, uh, of those little intros, but um, is it, it's three styles, Becca? Yes. Yeah, they have a crossbody and then a satchel and the backpack. And yeah. I I like it. I like it more than I thought I would. I like that it's a little simplistic. And yeah, yeah. I, Mickey's and it, my but it favorite. Takes you through the years, yeah, because yes. you've got yeah. you've got the very simple like just underneath the handle here. You can see where he's got his hair all messed up. Yeah. Um, the kind of doing a a Charles uh, Lindbergh, if I remember correctly, kind of doing a a, a mimicry of of uh, Lindbergh in that short. And then you've also got uh, underneath that you have uh, him kind of in his uh, Captain Mickey from the uh, Disney Cruise Line line look as well so a lot of a lot of different looks there from our uh, favorite mouse on this uh sim the one thing i will say with this becca is they aren't sharing what the interior looks yeah, like that's in true. These. when i was clicking through the photos i couldn't find is it a is it a print um in interior or a um a, uh like just you know just a, a standard so i'm gonna have to ask our team um at laughing place one of the that's one good. of the guys who uh are walking uh, Disney parks to, to let, let us know what they what they can find out for us if if there's some fun design in, inside as well. That'll be the the next thing is companies won't reveal what the pattern is until you buy it. You know, like the Chase variants, you might get a you know, like oh, what pattern do you have inside? It could be just solid color, or you get the really fun. Uh... Imagine if they're different, you know, it would yeah. just be kind of wild if it was like, oh, uh, well, you had purple and right. you just pink. <laughs> you got the very, very surprising baby blue. Yeah. <laughs> so because the description simply says fully lined um, yeah. from what from what we could tell. So uh, let's see uh, with the Disney Castle collection. They've mm -hmm. uh, brought us um, Merida. Yes. So this launched over the weekend, but 
several of the items are still available. The ornament is unfortunately sold out, but the castle is available on black at uh, uh, black. <laughs> back order um thinking black friday wrong we're way past that that's available on back order and so you can still you can still get this if you want i think it's limited to five which i was really surprised about mm. most of the items in this collection were limited to five per person except for the ornament which was one per person oh, so wow. a little surprising there to me like I, I thought the idea was keep it more like you can buy one or you can't. But um, anyway, uh, there's also a thousand piece puzzle, a journal and a pin. And this is the ninth in a series of 10. The last one is Beauty and the Beast. I don't know when we'll be getting that, but I think this is really pretty. These have all been really uh, attractive and the um, journals that they offer along with these items. Um, it has like a kind of a cutaway um, mm -hmm. look look to them and yes. uh, the the art has been really pretty and the journal itself is a uh, uh, heavy bound um and, you have the uh, as, Cinderella one right yes yes I have this I have the Cinderella one and some of the journals are still still available a lot of the castles um seem to have sold out rather quickly yes. um, I remember that Ariel's castle um went very quickly but yes. if you look on um shop disney for a disney castle collection um you'll find some of the items are uh still there from other other elements of that collection and as becca pointed out um beauty and the beast is next and so if that's uh one that you're interested in be sure to follow us on twitter and stay tuned here because we will uh keep you up to date on uh, those castle arrivals uh continuing over at shop disney um Oh, actually, moving over to Coles. 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 We're 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 bringing you some of the the new Danielle Nicole purses. Mm -hmm. This is part of their Danny by Danielle Nicole collection, which is more of a like casual collection, is what they said, and it's part of her the company's University of Danny campaign. I couldn't find much information about this, but supposedly they have ambassadors at different college campuses around the country. So you might be seeing more of this on your different social feeds. But yeah, they're doing a Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. Mickey hasn't arrived yet, at least not on Kohl's, but uh, they have some really cute bags. And they're kind of playing off of her different like personalities for Minnie. So we've got like a... Um, artistic classic feminine and bold so and these are of a lower price point when you're talking mm -hmm. um uh overall purses you're you're dealing with these are are 50 dollars, but oftentimes as you know cole will be offering yes. uh, discounts so in this case you can find these for 26 28 28 dollars they're the mini backpack so kind of that young active lifestyle um, is what is what is what they're going for with with these uh, Minnie Mouse purses, and uh, once again, Mickey will be on his way soon. But currently, it's a uh, Minnie Mouse getting all all the love. So, so yeah, and jumping into a totally uh, different price point, but yet still the mini backpack. Yeah. Finally, this Lux collection. Walt Disney World 50th anniversary lounge fly backpack appeared on Shop Disney. They've kind of been teasing the Lux collection for a while now, and uh, it made its way. Um, it is definitely gold, <laughs> and uh, it has it has a metal 50th logo that has black and gold and enamel on it. Um, it has these small um, Mickey ears. The interior is a black with the uh, 50th logo in gold. Now, this is a lounge fly, but it's going for 300 that for me is high within lounge fly. I was take I was a little surprised. That's not a, a price point I'm used to seeing connected with lounge fly. Am I am I remembering correctly, Becca? That's no. That I I'm right there with you. That that does seem very high for them. Um, it, I haven't been following them as closely as others, so there might have been previous releases that were of this price point. But no, this is this is a lot for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to I'm used to Loungefly being more like 75, 65, mm -hmm. 75, that kind of of uh, price range. Dooney, when I think when I think three hundred dollar yes. price points, I'm thinking I'm thinking Dooney purses. So it's a it's a interesting choice. Um, I'm I'm I would love to see this in person. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm a little I'm I'm I would be uh, hesitant 
Mm -hmm. because how will the that gold hold up right now will it will it hold up to abuse or that kind of thing because when i'm paying when i'm paying 300 you know i want something to you know be be rather sturdy and jeffrey i i i agree with you i was i was, a, I was a bit surprised by that as well what, how about you becca well i almost wish the ears weren't there i think there's like there's some element that either that needs to go and i think it's either the ears or the logo and considering this is a 50th anniversary, I think I'd rather have the logo and not have the ears. Me too. Yeah. When when I agree, I was like, I I, I think I would like it more without the ears. Um, it's just it it gets to be too too much with that. Um, and then also today, by the way, uh, they have a, a embossed. You see how this is embossed? This uh, 50 mm -hmm. and the castle within the leather. They they released a, a faux leather a black cap that has that same pattern on it um, as part of this Lux collection. So that's uh, over at uh, Shop Disney. But if you want your new emos to be all fancy, check it out. They've, they've got this gold Lux look uh, over for your new emos as well, along with other um, winter fashions mm -hmm. and some new friends. Who, who, who popped up within the world of uh, new emos, Becca? We got Chip and Dale this week. So the I believe they're brothers. I think that's what Becky Klein told us is they're brothers. So the little mischief makers are now part of the new emo family and they're so cute. They're so very adorable. And uh, like I say, they they released some new winter warmth, including a, a ski cap with a nice little uh, poof ball on it yeah. and uh, an orange puffer jacket. You can see uh, Stitch New Emo here uh, giving us his uh, best model looks uh, with his hooded puffy jacket. And of course, with the new year on the way, you've got a gold wrap dress with a gold 2022 ear headband for the best dress New Emo at the party or right. a delightful uh, glitter. Yeah, gold glitter. Super. I would I would wear those ears and I think I would wear that dress too. <laughs> I I'm in love with this look for Donald with the, yes. the black and gold gold hat. Uh I was thinking, yeah, no, this was this looks so quite the quite the uh New Year's Eve party going on there. Yeah. Oh hey. Kidder comes in to let us know that Secret Santa holiday giveaway this week's happening, and it's sponsored by Disney. So if you're a Wheel of Fortune fan, hey, check it out. A little bit of Disney fun over there. And I have not seen the ugly sweater for the new emo, have you? I don't think I have either. Yeah, Jeffrey, you'll have to. You'll I've have to not, been, not been up on the shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to jump from uh, new emos over to I have no delightful little segue for that. We're just jumping Sorry. to the venom, the venom pops. So for the incredibly adorable to the somewhat disturbing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these arrived on Entertainment Earth yesterday. There's, uh, they're Funko Pop pins and they're the same size as a Funko Pop. So they're four inches tall and they have the regular pin backs, but then they also have a built-in stand that you can pop out so that you can display, display your pin either on like a shelf or you can even put it on like cork board. I like the Loki one. I'm not really a big Venom fan, but I I figure we got to do a Marvel feature and I I liked uh I liked this one. <laughs> These are so disturbing and yet somehow I find them oddly adorable too. Right? Right? I it's even, I yes. Even, I don't know why. <laughs> I I agree. Um, yeah, and then we've got him as, dressed up as Thor as well, or having taken over, maybe not dressed up even, maybe it's, I'm not quite sure with the whole Venom uh, lore, but I think he takes over different characters, so he's not even necessarily dressing up, he's just, like, got a hold of Thor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got some Marvel must-haves, a uh, little bit of a roundup uh, this mm -hmm. week, I know Becca and Mike will be chatting Yep. more about these tomorrow on marvel time that's marvel time right here on mm -hmm. laughing place youtube channel wednesdays at one o'clock first they talk about comics they get the total marvel geek on and <laughs> then they do a little bit of merchandise talk to you so that way you know what collectibles are out there what you can uh bring home how you can uh, keep the marvel fun going on uh, your shelf 
at home. But uh, I gathered up a few of the items that you uh, yes. showcased, Becca. Yeah, we've got uh, Kate Bishop. This is an Amazon exclusive. Last week we had her with Lucky and the little dog. And then this one is, of course, like I said, exclusive to Amazon. And then Maya Lopez is a character we were recently introduced to. Her name is Echo, or her, her alias, I guess, is Echo. And we'll get to know more about her through the series. But she's got a Funko Pop, too. So. And Rock'em Socks is back yes. with more uh, of these of these uh, very densely colored socks. Yes. And they that's have, a good way to put it. <laughs> they have a number of them available um, with Hawkeye and other characters um, from the Hawkeye series. Over at Hot Topic, they've got a variety of T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, I like that one right there with the purple with Hawkeye's logo and that I like that color purple. This is my favorite. The yeah. Her Universe Kate, Kate Bishop uh, jacket. I'm yep. really fond. I'm really fond of this. Even beyond like the whole marble. I just the lines and the colors on it. Super appealing. I feel like it's really flattering. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they also have that in a plus size as well. Mm -hmm. So if you need a roomier jacket or want to just size up, they do have a plus size version. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, you're going to be layering this time of yes. year. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. Um, and finally, Marvel Legends has a couple of, um, are these the what they call black figures or is that not? Uh, they're the Marvel, Marvel Legends, film? Marvel Legends okay. series. But I think they're that same, they're just like the black <laughs> series. But, you know, you can't have the same name for, for all of them. So. <laughs> no, that makes it too, that makes it too easy. Yeah. And I'll have to link to that Mac wrote or somebody maybe it wasn't Mac somebody on our team wrote about the uh yeah the that they're coming soon and then we included them in the must-haves so so and once again these are these are the type where you have a, a additional hands mm -hmm. so that you can have a little bit more flexibility as in regards to how um you pose them yes. um when on display um, I know we just published on Laughing Place a review of some Star Wars soaps from Dr. Squatch. Yep. And I am looking forward to talking about those next week on Star Wars Headlines um, with Mike C. But we are going to highlight the beautiful Leia and Luke Kyber crystal necklaces that have appeared over on Rock Love. Did you, did you order these? Uh, I... I this one is the one that is pulling at my budget I know, right now. Me too. I love <laughs> Leia and I love how this looks. And I'm like. <sighs> yeah, this one's really been pulling at the budget. I, I have done the kind of add to cart a few times. And walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will not be surprised if this doesn't find its way um, into my jewelry box. Because it the colors are stunning. Mm -hmm. And I'm such a fan of her artistry. And um, yeah, no, this one is is just ex exquisite in the in the pics and my mouse has disappeared. So I was going to bring up because here's the one that they uh, did for Luke. It is um, similar to the saber we saw in uh, Return of the Jedi and at the that moment in a uh, Mandalorian that uh, mm -hmm. stopped all our, our hearts for a, a moment in time. But uh, the hilt, the, the craftsmanship of the hilts on these necklaces um, is, is stunning. And yeah. I'm such a fan. Um, this necklace is a, a Minnie Mouse pendant. And, and we speak often of the artistry of Rock Love. Their, their jewelry has a nice heft to it. You're um, getting a nice investment for the 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 price um the these each are 150 i know you can see this 385 but that's um if you're doing like this bundle right. up here but um the individual necklace is 150 the luke skywalker is um not on a chain it is on uh i want to say it's like a le uh like a yeah. leatherette style um uh they I... band and yes. uh whereas leia the leia um kyber crystal is going to be on a on a chain so yeah no just beautiful beautiful uh items from rock love check check them out if you haven't yet they have a number of uh disney related items pixar they've got some coco jewelry sleeping beauty snow white uh pop culture pop culture uh, jewelry uh 
for the uh, fan. So yeah, Brock Love. I and can't... as far as the Kyber Crystal collection goes, they have announced they're, they're going to add more lightsaber hilts in 2022. So they haven't said what. She did hint that uh, these could pair with the Obi-Wan collection, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that means it's going to be a part of the Kyber Crystals or if there's a separate Obi-Wan collection coming too. So uh, lots of exciting stuff for Star Wars fans and and jewelry fans and with the and with the artistry involved in these pieces you will see her inventories reduce and then sometimes they'll be replenished mm -hmm. sometimes once it's gone it's gone like these um mini mouse um bows that series that she did she did a variety of colors and once the color was gone um it was gone but other items um like the um uh, adorable eeyore with a spinning tail um, and, uh, I think the Ewok, those are ones where, you know, I've seen them disappear for a little while, but then be, you know, come back for a time. So, you know, the, the inventory will, um, on some of these will ebb and flow, but they do a, a great job of, of updating you and letting you know, um, kind of what the status is and what to expect regarding the items at, at Rock Love Jewelry. Um, continuing with the world of Star Wars, we've got some Attack of the Clones, Funko Pop pins over at Entertainment Earth. These are pre-order items. Mm -hmm. They'll actually be coming in February. But what kind of things do we have there, Becca? We have Count Dooku. We have, as you see, R2-D2. We have Yoda and then Jango Fett. And the Yoda one there has a chase variant. So you might get lucky. This is just like the Venom Pop, so pop pins we talked about. So yeah, four inches again. Great for display if you don't want that the bulkier character you can get these earlier this year they released four phantom menace themed so i'm assuming we're going to be getting um wow what is it revenge of the sith <laughs> am i okay. yes right the, the third in the prequel trilogy um I, yeah. I assume that will be coming in the in the coming months cool but, sorry i was doing a real quick search on something no you're good it didn't, it didn't pop up up for me so and those pins are 15.99 each okay and finally oh here we go um i wanted to share with everybody since uh jeffrey mentioned it there's yes. another letter okay yeah <laughs> you know i had seen that and i just wasn't paying enough attention because now yeah, that i'm looking at it i'm like i know i've seen that <laughs> yeah check it out he's got little candy cane striped pants is that it is that it uh is that the one you picked up there jeffrey that's way too adorable i love it you know, you know it, what you should do is you need to add little twinkle lights to it. You oh, know, those little yeah. um, fairy lights that you can you can get operated on a bat, you know, like a little battery, and then just really bling it out totally. So you know that way, Donald would win any ugly sweater contest. And um, Jeffrey, if you're comfortable, you should uh, take a picture and tweet it at us oh, uh, so we can so we can see what your new emos look like with the. Uh, ugly holiday sweater. <laughs> I too. I want to. I want to see your new emo. I want to see Jeffrey's new emo. Um, and over at Shop Disney, a another collectible key has arrived. This is a uh, book of Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, they the prices have been fluctuating a little bit. Everything I've seen recently has been fourteen ninety nine. This is twelve ninety nine. So there you go. We've got the show coming up at the end of the month. I believe it's the 29th, right? And then uh, look at that. Oh wow. Kid are yes. keeping track of I your did. I did. We <laughs> we uh, drafted Marvel pets. So Marvel pets? Yes. So yeah, <laughs> go give that a listen. Anyway. <laughs> That's something else we offer here at Laughing Place, by the way. We also have a podcast. Uh, for Marvel fans called the Zacks of Life. And uh, they uh, chit chat all things uh, Marvel. And uh, it often has a odd draft of some sort. Apparently, this time, Becca, you were uh, drafting Marvel pets, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. I'm sorry, I got distracted by that. No, was you're more, good. Was there, more on the Bo was there more on the Boba Fett key? Oh, no, it's just it's available as of today and it's tied into the into the series. And we had so much for our bring home the bounty today. There's there's a lot to check out on Laughing Place. And yeah, did I did I, I wore my Star Wars spirit jersey because I was like, why not? <laughs> 
I managed to skip the bring home the bounty, didn't I, Becca? Well, we had those kyber crystals to talk about, which were very exciting. And I have like ever since I've seen them, I'm like, let's keep talking. <laughs> so <Okay. laughs> I'm I'm right there with you. No, I'm sorry about that. Hey, let me let me um I was gonna I was gonna see if I could pull that up real quick here. Let me move this, let me move this off screen for a moment while I <laughs> pull up the bring home the bounty item that I should have had ready to go and somehow. No, you're, over. you're okay. <laughs> I bounty. am working on another uh, article about her universe collections that arrived today. So she's got some really cute Mandalorian and book of Boba Fett clothing on her universe. So we'll have that article coming soon. And Cause we've got a lot of stuff over here mm -hmm. with, to um, the bring home the bounty, uh, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. Mm -hmm. These are pre-order items, and this opens up tomorrow. Yes, yes. And we'll Very have more more information about that tomorrow when they go on sale. Okay, but if those are on your want and wish list, be sure to stay tuned so that you don't miss out on that um, opportunity to get these um, Black Series figures uh, from the. Uh, well, I guess currently from Mandalorian, but soon to be from Book of Boba Fett, right? Mm -hmm. This is where we met them. Yes. And then a variety of Funko Pops. Of, yep. Oh, this is adorable. Din Djarin with Grogu. We've got a nice little plush of uh, Boba Fett. Apparently, this even has a little voice mm -hmm. sound element to it. Some more. I like uh, that that lightsaber with the horns. <laughs> that's cool. Well, a tribute to Darth Maul, one of the uh, great villains that just kind of disappeared into. Uh... Oh, hey, Kyle, coming in with the fun fact. Tonight, ABC is airing a live reenactment of The Facts of Life. Yeah, and your show is Zacks of Life. So, oh, oh, I get why he finds it a fun fact. Oh, Jeffrey has, okay, wait, breaking news. This is important. So. Oh, the McCl yeah. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> Jeffrey saw the plush Greedo at Target and it did say McClunky. I had seen a tweet from a Star Wars uh, right, part of the Lucasfilm group. And he, when he, you know, squeezed it, it said McClunky, but I wasn't totally sure if it was like legit or if it was him having some fun with the internet. So I, I am very thankful for uh, Jeffrey doing a little bit of legwork and letting me know that that actually does exist. Um, but within the Bring Home the Bounty, be sure and check it out. We'll have a link below, but uh, among the items is this beautiful uh, Yoda fountain, tabletop mm -hmm. fountain. That is really pretty. I know. It's $270, which is a little pricey, but it's not ridiculous right. at least i don't think so and my favorite fact of this is that it's a limited edition with a run of 1138 so uh 1138 that's i i know there's some lucasfilm connection with that i know there's the film thx 1138 yeah. so his, his uh college experimental film yeah okay yes so i was very excited to see that I didn't oh, purchase but I i've been thinking about it <laughs> that is cool and that also makes the price point seem even more um right? achievable because when you're dealing with something of that limited nature and then okay that's cool you know because you look at something and you and you think okay how much would it be normally mm -hmm. okay there's going to be a certain increase in price because it's you know branded right it's something star wars or or lucasfilm and uh sorry computer and then, and then you look at the fact that it's limited edition and you know that's going to increase it a little bit. So then you kind of piece it all together and then you go, okay, I, yeah. I, I get it now. I get it now. So once again, these are items from Bring Home the Bounty, a wide variety of items. Becca um, gathers them from across the Star Wars uh, galaxy. So there'll be some toys, there'll be some home items, there'll be collectibles, you'll be uh, looking at even this adorable poodle skirt, which is where I was trying to go so I could, because uh, your husband said. That yes, he yes. Ooh, so. does that mean I'm getting one? I know. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So That's... lots of lots of fun over there with the uh, Bring Home the Bounty collection. Sorry, I didn't have that right. Oh, no, you're, you're 
You're good. There was there's so much Star Wars today. I'm still like my brain is still trying to process all the Star Wars. And, I, uh, and I, I suspect we'll talk a little bit more about it uh, next week on uh, Star Wars headlines. Typically, you'll find that on Laughing Place on Mondays around one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this week, Mike was out and about with lots going on all around Southern California. So um, no Star Wars headlines this week, but we'll be back next week. And now we're at the point where it's time for this week's Sensational 7. And this week for my Sensational 7, that's a list of items that are loosely gathered around the personalities of Sleepy, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, Sneezy, Bashful, and Doc. Uh, the focus this week, because it is the holiday season, is gingerbread. We're starting off with an adorable pajama suit from uh, Shop Disney. This features the characters of Marvel um, as realized um, as gingerbread cookies. So see, you're sleeping. See, there you go. Sleepy happy. You cannot help but be happy with this adorable lounge fly chibi mm. Star Wars backpack with Jawa gingerbread cookies. You can see them uh, being served up on this tray by the IG-11 uh, assassin droid. And uh, over here, um, Din Djarin's holding one. So yeah, various mm -hmm. little gingerbread Jawa cookies on the uh, Mandalorian Chibi Holidays mini backpack from Box Lunch. For Grumpy, I stumbled on this amazing Marvel Gingerbread Titan t-shirt. Uh, I'm guessing that's, um, uh, oh. Hold on, let me. Snap, right? Thanos, right? Is that who that is? With the O snap? Or uh, probably, I, yes, that would make the most sense. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Yes, it's Thanos. Yeah, okay. So there you go. And I thought that this was a fun play on the notion of a gingerbread, <laughs> on, on a ginger snap, right? And then you got the O snap. The, mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Within the uh, dwarf world, Dopey doesn't have a lot to say, and honestly, neither does Chewbacca. And uh, here's a gingerbread version of the legendary Star Wars Wookiee as a, in a lounge fly crossbody bag available from Shop Disney. He's got a um, collection of peppermint cookies decorating his uh i think that's a bandolier i think that's what you call it a simple that sounds cross, right simple crossbody bag i love Sneezy. it and i think there's also a pin that matches but yeah i think you're right that's one of the designs that ever since i've seen it on there i'm like this is really clever really cute you kind of want to try and make it right yeah you want to make little gingerbread cookies like that yes <laughs> And sometimes I wonder if Sneezy wouldn't be quite so Sneezy if he just had warmer socks. So in this case, he can pick some up from Rock'em Socks. You've got a gingerbread Mickey. See, we got gingerbread working in there. It's a split face design, right? So you got part of his face on your right foot, part of his face on your left foot. So when mm -hmm. you look down at your toasty warm feet, you can see an adorable little Mickey Mouse gingerbread face. <laughs> and if you're bashful, maybe you would like to just simply cuddle up at a holiday party with a gingerbread scented Mickey Mouse plush. This is a small 12 inch plush. He has adorable peppermint candy cheeks, a little bit of a decor on his bow tie. You can see the royal icing embroidery decorating the uh, edges of the cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeffrey points out the uh, images on the gingerbread socks will make it easier to know which sock goes yes. on, on which foot. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my feet are very different sizes. So in my world, it's very easy to tell because I have one sock that's two sizes larger than the other sock. Oh. <laughs> so, so my universe is just a little bit, a little bit easier. And Jeffrey also says that, um, that this plush, uh, disappeared last year. And so it's been, uh, it just recently popped back up on Shop Disney. Very cool. I thought it looked kind of familiar, so I'm glad to know uh, that that this is something that maybe if people missed out on snatching up last year, they can snatch it up this mm -hmm. year. And finally, Doc. 
I think of him as kind of uh, being what the foundation of the dwarfs. And in this case, I went with the legendary mouse duo of Mickey mm-hmm. and Minnie. This is gingerbread Mickey, gingerbread Minnie, a variety of holiday um, images, uh, Christmas present, Christmas tree, Christmas stocking on a holiday t-shirt. And that's from Hot Topic. And so there's just seven gingerbread related items loosely organized uh by the on the uh seven dwarfs <laughs> this week jeremiah good traveled over to new york city and he got to check out the new exhibit at the metropolitan uh, museum of art there it's a fascinating uh display of artistry uh the pieces of french decorative arts that inspired walt inspired animation and I, uh, I'm showcasing it here on Barely Necessities because it has inspired a collection of merchandise items over there at the Met store. So um, if you are a fan of kind of a bit more artistry of Disney, uh, you can find a variety of t-shirts, totes, and mugs at the Met store along with a book featuring Mm -hmm. items from the exhibit. So if you can't travel all the way to New York, you can uh, get a sample of what the exhibit focus is and some of the pieces within the exhibit through that title. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Rebecca, Mm -hmm. who's going to tell you about all the other things happening here at Laughing Place that we didn't get to talk about very much today. That's, that's that's quite all right. We have a Hawkeye little golden book. So Marvel characters in the style of little golden book. Um, that's what I grew up with. So always great to see when they when they come up with new versions of the classic uh, classic children's literature. Um, and we talked briefly about the Dr. Squatch soap review. So yes, please check that out. And I know Mike will have much more to say about that. There's also some Star Wars Funko exclusives at um, Amazon and Target. And then we know previously we've had Funko at Funko and then also Entertainment Earth. So lots to check out. Um, Puppy for Hanukkah. I don't know if you remember that song from last year, but David Diggs did a song and they showed it on, they had a music video on Disney Channel. Well, now there's merchandise on Amazon so you can get shirts, pillows, and a tote bag. That's pretty cute. Uh, Loungefly Mickey and Donald exclusive wallets at Entertainment Earth where they're dressed up as the devil and Frankenstein. So this kind of matches something that debuted earlier in the year, so a backpack. So now you can get a backpack pin and wallet, all part of the same series. And then we've got, Mike did several Star Wars reviews. Uh, the Grogu, Grogu Qtopia plush, big, big like plush type pillow, that R2-D2 Tamagotchi, which we've talked about on here several times. To- uh, well, maybe not several times. We talked about it on here a while ago. And then he also has a Lego Imperial Marauder, Armored Marauder uh, review. So I'm always, I'm always up for more Lego. <laughs> I'm extremely jealous of uh, the R two D two reviews right? that, that Mike got to, that Mike got to do. That's one of those. That's one of those things that just oh, way too fun, but totally nostalgic. I uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm eager to, uh, to talk to him about it, and uh, yeah. So I'm I'm uh, like I say a, a little a little a little jealous that that ended up on his to do list. <laughs> I know, right? I, I, I would I wouldn't have minded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, but we've got we've got so much going on here at Labbing Place. Um, <laughs> tonight we have two quizzes uh, that uh, for our Disney trivia live show that starts at seven thirty. Uh, our first uh, among the quiz titles we've got twelve things of Disney and what's this volume four. So uh, lots of quiz quizdom going on uh, here tonight at seven thirty. Tomorrow, we're going to be coming to you live from Disney Hollywood Studios around noon Pacific. And at one o'clock, uh, we have another one of our in-studio programs, and that will be a live chat about Marvel, bringing you up to date on Marvel. So if you enjoy talking Marvel, stop by here around one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Mike and Ben will be talking mm-hmm. Marvel and uh, jump in the chat and ask any questions and chat uh, discuss whatever the latest issues of uh, Marvel 
uh, are what storylines are happening. I suspect there'll be some Hawkeye talk going yes, on as they'll well. They'll talk about there's a new episode tomorrow. <laughs> they'll be talking about that. So so we've got we've got a lot of fun uh, going on here at Laughing Place because the Disney Company is constantly doing new and exciting things. Uh, Disney Genie is about to hit the Disneyland Resort. Uh, it's a Small World Holiday finally reopened uh, after its unfortunate uh, challenges, I'll say, uh, with the flooding. So um, I think so, Jeffrey, but I'm not 100% for sure. So I don't want to promise that, but obviously stay, stay tuned. Uh, to Laughing Place for uh, information on that. Um, if you're enjoying the stream, please give us a like. It helps other people find us. Also, let your friends know you found us. Yeah. Um, you don't have to keep us a secret. You can let other people know we're out there. We appreciate it. And uh, as always, the links to the merchandise will be below. Um, we appreciate when you click through because we get a, there's no extra cost to you and a little we get a little bit of an affiliate uh, uh, be back and so that helps to fund all the efforts that we do here at laughing place with the various reports and uh shows that we do so thanks as always for tuning in and we will see you all next week 